Okay, so here's the second part, which I guess we're up to video C now. Yeah. Um, so we, I saw this online. This is a question from our friend uh, Federico, who's also an Ultimate Frisbee player. So we got a hexagon. Yeah. We'll pull that hexagon a little closer to you guys. Maybe I should zoom in. Um, and a square. And the square has the same side length as the side of the hexagon. Okay. And his question was, what's the relationship between these two areas? Can you, can you put the square inside of the hexagon so you can see? So put it so that they share the side, so put it on top of each other. Okay, so we've got a picture like that, and we're trying to understand the relationship between those two areas. Wow. And I know you know how to calculate this, but I want to see if we can come up with something without calculating, because he was saying that this question was asked by a third grader. Okay, so before we start digging into it, um, what do you think is the relationship between these two areas? Hmm. Well, it's the square we can see from here is smaller than the hexagon. That's true. Maybe, maybe it would be something like the hexagon maybe twice as big as the square. What do you think? I think it would if I think it would be twice as big and just a little bit. Just a little bit left over. So twice as big plus more. Yeah. Okay. A little more than twice as big. Okay. Do you think it's three times as big? No, I don't think it would be three times as big. Okay. Twice as big plus a little bit more. And that seems like a okay estimate. And twice as big. Okay. So how are we going to refine that estimation without without calculating? How how could we how could we get an estimate of this? Well. We could, we have, if we drew lines here and here, mm -hmm. we have this rectangle, two triangles, and this square. Okay. We could calculate the area of those. Uh, okay, interesting. All right, so to calculate the area of the square is relatively easy. Yeah. yeah. If we, let's call this long, these two long blues, we can call it side like two. So the area, the area would be four. Okay. How are we going to figure out how far it is uh, to make the other two sides of that rectangle? Mm -hmm. Well, the triangles, the triangles, I think, are a little bit easier. Okay, fine. Right. Well, so I was thinking, since the angle in a hexagon is 120, this angle is a 30 degree angle. Okay. And if we draw the height, we have a 90 degree angle. So this must be a 60 degree. Okay, so where is that height? Can you put it so in? If we have a height, like maybe it goes like that. Okay. And then, so this angle would be a right angle? Yeah. And this would be a 60 and this one would be a 30. All right. So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle with this long side, two. And this other one. So this here would actually be one. If we call this length two, this is one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, so now, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and then, look, I think we would have the same triangle over here. Oh. Yeah, we, uh, we're splitting the triangle in half with this height. Very interesting. So okay. we have these four triangles, the square, and then we have this rectangle. Ah. How could we? Well, the triangles, the triangles, this height of the triangle is is root three. Right, and that's what you, now you're calculating again. Yeah. So I don't want you to calculate. I want you to do some estimating. See, I know you know how to calculate this, but the question that was asked was asked by a third grader who doesn't know how to calculate, doesn't know the relationships in 30, 60, 90 triangles. So based on what you have there, what would you estimate? For the area, rather than calculating the area of that triangle well, you're looking at. If we put it, if we put 